If you had to tell us or take us through the evolution of Virat, that captain, how have you seen this transformation? It's been a gradual process. Um, the under-19s again was something that came out of the blue. Um, Tanmay Srivastava was captain for a while and after that, you know, I was given captaincy in one of the tours just before the World Cup uh, to South Africa and then we did well, we won the series there. Um, I captained the World Cup, we won the World Cup. So from then on, you know, things became a little bit more serious as far as captaincy is concerned. I was given captaincy of the Ranji Trophy team as well after a few years uh, for a few games. So the character kept building along with the different levels that I played uh, but uh, never thought at the national level I, I would be captain because it's a whole different ball game altogether. It's nothing compared to the under 19s or the first class level because anyways the attention is so massive at the international stage and when you're captain it's tenfold. Um, so just to get used to that took me a bit of um, time and uh, Adelaide was the beginning of it. Uh, you know a lot of criticism came along with the first few games which is which is quite obvious being at this post. So those are the kind of things that uh, took some adjusting. Would you say you're a born leader? I mean, we know your personality. You like to be in charge because you lead by example, even when you've just been a player. But would you call yourself a born leader or it's something that you worked on over this period? Well, honestly, I've, um, I've learned how to manage my teammates better over the span of my career. Especially at this stage, you know, the mindset becomes very different of a cricketer in terms of insecurities, in terms of feeling the heat, in terms of feeling the pressure, in terms of executing what they want, in terms of working hard, you know, being committed to one cause. So these are things that I've experienced myself first and then you get a better understanding of what the other person is going through. So if you take everything as a learning, I think uh, the job becomes much more easier in terms of knowing what the person is going through. You can just look at someone's body language after a while and say, I was feeling like this you know, at some stage in my career and, and I know exactly what he's going through. So this is what I need to say to him. This is what I need to do to make sure that he's in the right space or he just needs to be given some space at this stage. So it's a very thin line. It's a very uh, delicate balance, I would say. Um, but yeah, that is one thing that I've learned, um, you know, along uh, with, with the time that I've played international cricket and, and now I'm able to um, implement those things within the team. The number of times he saved me from getting dropped. So you're touching pretty much on those lines. So as a captain, do you have like an open door policy? Do players come talk to you? Do you go talk to them one on one in their rooms after a game, over dinner or something? I'm pretty transparent and pretty upfront as a person uh, in general. So that seeps into the captaincy bit as well. I've always been like that as a as a player as well within the team. If I felt like I wanted to speak to someone about something, I would go and tell them. Even if they were my seniors, I would tell them I I observed this in your game. Maybe it'll be helpful for you. So I never feared. Uh, speaking to anyone because I was honest about it um, and eventually people understood you know the kind of character I have the kind of personality I have they started accepting it uh, even now when I feel like a player is down and out I wouldn't I wouldn't make it a point to speak to him in front of everyone because not everyone is comfortable with that yeah. but I would silently you know send in a message just in the team bus after the end of the day's play that if I see someone down, I urge them to pick themselves up and you know tell them you're my, you're my champion player I need you for the whole season and those sort of things so uh, I think that makes a massive difference to the mindset knowing that the, the captain backs me, the management backs me, the team backs me. I don't need to look beyond that dressing room door and worry about the world.